It's my people, how are we doing? We are back again, match day vlog. Finally back at home at Sales Park. It's almost been three weeks since we last played at Sales Park and that 2-1 win against Leicester City to kick off this phenomenal run we've been going on so far. Three wins out of three, nine goals scored. Listen, it's Palace are back. You know, the football's been sublime. Lovely attacking fluent football and that as well. Players like Elise and Eze stepping up. And oh, Johnson as well, don't forget. He stepped up big time. He's probably going to be our number one goalkeeper starting today. Really optimistic, really confident. We played Everton. They, of course, lost 3 1 last week. They sit in the bottom three, I believe, don't they? Everton. Yeah. No, they're fourth. They're oh, the fourth. Fourth, fourth, fourth from, sorry, fourth, my bad. Fourth from bottom. Yeah, they are fourth from bottom on 27 points. They've got to really come out all guns blazing. They want to fight and try and get three points. It ain't going to be easy for them. Their way record's putrid with one away win all season. Eight draws and ten defeats and that. So yeah, um it's not looking too good and that. But yeah, um well what I mean not looking too good is not looking too good for Everton. But for us, we just gotta play the way we've been doing our last three games. Simple as that. Be creative. Start off well for once as well. We've been starting games kind of slow and picking up in the second half, but it'd be nice to do well in the first half and have the game kind of dead and buried. We're going to go 2-0 to Crystal Palace. Listen, the fans, like I say, for every home game between now and the end of the season, got to get behind a team in this relegation cruncher. Also, um, want to see some scars flying high flags as well and be passionate, you know. Be proud to be Palace. That's what we got to be like as a fan base, especially playing at Everton. So playing Everton at home today and that, my people. So I cannot wait. And hopefully it's going to be a good one. Hopefully we'll be walking away with eight, another three points, four wins in a row. And we could potentially leapfrog Chelsea anytime soon. Or to be fair, if we win today, I think we're going to level one points with Chelsea. So fingers crossed that happens. Top 10 is still on. Let's just be consistent. And it's all about getting the results. Come on, you Eagle. from Sam Johnson just there and Wobie with the volley giving it away again come on Palace all over the place they've broken up acting like they're winning <laughs> not come on Palace man Everton are doing really well they're the better team I'm not going to lie hate to admit it they've had the better chances well that's uh, goal kick goal kick half time nil nil <laughs> not the best first half for us I'd say that Everton I hate to admit it, like I said but the better side, creating more chances, could be 1-0 up maybe. It's been a poor first half, I mean, you can see why Everton are down there. We haven't thrown up, Eze's off it, Edouard's not been playing well. At least they've done alright, ai has been amazing. But Ray and Roy got a legend in them at half time because we're better than that. We know how this team can play and we're not putting our weight on that pitch. We need a win to keep us up now. The win today will start mathematically to be fair. You know, I think we're safe anyway, but... Listen, it's always important to win games like this because Everton, they're playing well, but if you get at them, I reckon we could get a couple of goals maybe. Hopefully we step up in the second half, but God knows what Everton are going to bring out because they're battling hard and they're trying. It's nil-nil, anything can happen. It's that kind of game right now, so yeah, who knows. But big second half, like I always say, needed. Another first half, no goals, nil-nil. Please, just get a goal, Palace, and just win this game. Who knows what Everton are going to play like second half. Their fans are up for it, we got a match out. Come on, you Palace. Come on, you Eagles, no one pressing. We're playing so deep right now, we're not doing anything, and it's really frustrating, man. Oh, next. Come on, Dakura, a bit of 
quality brother. Nah, he's got a ball. Look at his mugs. Offside, offside, offside. Offside, offside, offside. Offside. I thought he might have been off. They might check it, they might check it. Nah, they're not. Eze is on fire. Eze is on fire. they check the goal, it's not a goal. Or else they would have given it a minute ago. The word we went down into for Everton. We were here You're the Everton going down! <laughs> Indeed. I hope they go down Everton. They don't deserve to be in the Prem. But yeah. Hopefully, we, I mean, the players had a bit of a chat with Roy and Ray at the side whilst the Wobie was getting treatment. Hopefully they come up with a new strategy and change the way they play as well. Everton should have scored. I think it was Calvert-Lewin, three or four that was in and under the keeper. Put it well wide. There's a lob up the pitch from Pickford. Anderson was lost in no man's land. Poor defender, we're so poor right now. We haven't started off the second half at all. Well. It's all Everton sort of. They just look the better team and know what they're doing more than we do. Couple subs. Slipping Edouard going off and using Mateta on. Good subs from Roy there. I hope they pay off. I hope you know what he's doing. Using. Finally a short target in the second half. Bloody hell. Eze with a shot. It wasn't the best shot. There was a comfortable save for Pickford. Got a corner. Come on. Shut up Mope mate. That's not good. How are you there? Cheerio, mate! Cheerio! Cheerio, 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 I'm going to tell you what are you doing out there, get in the box, hurry up! With five minutes of added time, probably three minutes left. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but oh, it's been one of them frustrating afternoons, man. Hold on! Ah, rubbish. That's it, that's it. Full time, nil nil. Ah, no words, not good enough, but I mean, kind of fair enough if you look at the game overall. <laughs> Full-time nil-nil, um, it was a poor game, we didn't sort of play bad. We started playing when Everton went down to 10 but over the course of the game, and nil-nil was a fair result. They had chances, they were the better team in the first half. Early on in the second half, I mean, they started off well. Cameroon missed a sitter and then we had a few chances, but I mean, they had nil-nil written all over it, pretty much, from how the game was going throughout, really, so yeah. But, nah, I mean, it's one of them ones, really, like, it's a good, it's a clean sheet, but we should have done better. We just lacked that final third of quality. I thought Edouard was poor, Mateta didn't really do anything. I hate to admit it, but we missed Wilf today. If he was on that pitch, I reckon we would have won, but yeah. I thought the atmosphere wasn't the best either compared to the Leicester game, but hey. I think one more win and we're pretty much mathematically safe, even though I don't think we'll go down. Forest losing, thingy, um, Wolves losing as well. Who knows what's happening. I'll see you lot in my next vlog. That'll be the Wolves game away at Montague. Yeah, in a bit.